everyone welcome back to my channel so in today's video we are going to make a start on this picture from Eerie's book so this was the picture that most people chose from the four different options that I gave you so we're going to get started today so the pencils that we're going to be using are the castle art pencils so I've got the 120 set so the first color that I'm going to take is lemon yellow light and I'm going to use this to fill in the moon in the background Obviously this is going to be like a nighttime scene, so I thought we'll do this bit first. And I'm going to use the same colour to go over these little stars. Next I'm going to take Naples Yellow Light and I'm going to do like a bit of a shadow around the moon. So this is slightly lighter than the last colour that we used. So all I'm going to do is just sort of go in light circular motions and just make a little bit of like a, a shine that's coming from the moon. It's very light so you might not be able to see it until we start adding the background colour. So I'll just go ahead and go around all these little stars as well. So next taking ultramarine violet, I'm going to start to fill in the very top edge of the sky because this is going to be the darkest colour that we're going to use. So I'll just pull you down a bit, make sure that you can see that. So I'm going to go ahead and sort of go around all these little bits that's in here as well. So we'll go ahead and get started. So I'm just going to literally go straight up around the lines that we've got in here at the moment. And I'm just going to use normal pressure. And then as I come away, I'll start to lift the pressure so that it blends out a little bit easier into the next colour. But I want this edge to be quite dark. This is the first time that I've used um, Castle Art pencils in this book, so it'll be interesting to see how they work and how they blend together. Hopefully it will work okay. <laughs> so as you can see here, I'm just starting to lift the pressure so that we can blend it a bit easier into the next colour. Next I'm going to take Perugian Blue 042 and I'm going to start to go over where I've left the lighter shading in here and sort of blend this all together. So I'm just going to go over the top of the last colour that we did. And then just start to bring that colour down and out.
And then the next colour that I've chosen is Ultramarine Light 044. So I'm going to use this to go over this bit here where I've left it a little bit lighter and just blend this all together. Okay, so I'm going to carry on doing that. So I'm going to go back in with Perusian Blue and I'm just going to start to go over these edges that I've done here. And then I'm just going to lift the pressure but just fill in a little bit of colour a bit further down. And I've done it so it's not in a straight line, so it should be easier to blend when we come to blending. So I'm just going to add a bit more pressure onto this bit here. And then sort of take the pressure off as you come down, just so it'll make it blend a bit easier. So that's the line that I'm going to go to. So again, I'm just going to fill this in using harder pressure on this edge and then get lighter as we come down. And then going back in with ultramarine light, I'm going to go over that again just to blend it all together. And this blue's got a bit more of a, a lighter blue tone to it, so it should just lighten everything up a little bit as it starts to come down. So we'll just take it over where we put the last colour just to make sure that it's all blended together nicely. And then I'm just going to bring this colour further down. Again, just using light pressure when you bring the colour down.
and then again I'm going to just start to lift the pressure here and just bring this colour down so I'll just fill it in with light pressure just make sure it's not a straight line Next, taking 046, which is sky blue, I'm going to go ahead and go over that and then bring the colour down again. So we'll start over here on this little small section. So we'll just go ahead and fill this in, just using normal pressure and going over the slightly darker colour that we had underneath. So I'm going to do the same all the way around. And then again, I'm just lifting the pressure as you come away so that we've got a bit of a lighter colour again going down. So we'll take this all the way down here. And then just continue to go over the darker colours. And then again, I'm just sort of re-going over this, but not applying as much pressure. And for the final colour on our sky, we're going to use Cobalt Blue 096. And we're going to use this to fill in the rest of the sky. So I'm just using normal pressure for this and I'm just going all the way around all these little trees that we've got poking up. And then we'll just fill the rest in.
next going back in with ultramarine i've just sharpened it so that i can get in between um these little tiny like berries and um, so i'm just going to go ahead and fill in between these in Next, going back in with sky blue, I'm just going to go around this yellow bit of the star here because it's still looking a bit bright. Next, taking Naples yellow light, I'm just going to go over where I put the stars originally just to try and blend this together a little bit more. So I'm just going to go over the blue colour that we put in and just sort of make it in like a circular motion and it's just going to blend everything together and hopefully we might get a little bit more of a shine. Okay, so that's it for our sky at the moment. We're gonna leave that there. And we're gonna move on to the castle. So I'm gonna make a start by doing the windows and I'm gonna fill the windows in like there's lights on inside the castle. So we're gonna use like a yellowy orange color. So for this, I'm gonna go in with Cadmium Yellow Light 004. And we're gonna go ahead and start on the windows. So like I said, I'm just gonna fill them in so that it looks like there's light coming out of them. And I'm just going to go over where we put this blue here with this colour. Try and make it look like there's a little bit of a shine coming out from these windows up here in the sky. And it'll just add like a little almost green colour to it. Next we're going to move on to this little wall in front of the castle. So for this I've chosen warm grey light which is 120. So I'm going to go ahead and do a base coat on all of them and then we'll go ahead after and add in some darker shades to give them more depth and shadow. Next, taking Davies Grey, which is 067, we're going to add some shadows to these little bricks. So the first thing that I'm going to do is just add some to the sides and then along the bottom. And we'll do this for each of the bricks. Actually, we might leave some, we'll do some in a different colour. So I'll add some in with this colour and then maybe we'll go in with like a mossy grey or a mossy green. So the next colour we're going to go in with is 064 Terravidi. I'm not sure how you pronounce that. This looked like quite a mossy green colour. So I'm going to go ahead and add some of this. And I'm going to concentrate this green colour sort of lower down here towards the bottom bricks. Because they would get a little bit mossy from all of the grass. And I'm still going to leave some grey on there. So I'm just sort of going around the edges. And then we'll do sort of like the bottom and a bit on the right hand side like we just did with the grey.
these ones I'm doing all along the side where they meet the trees because I think they would be a little bit greener. Next I'm going to go in with Raw Umber 116 and I'm going to add a bit of brown colour to some of these bricks. So again I'm just going to randomly pick different ones and just add a little bit of this colour into it. So I'm just using light pressure here and you can sort of do you know a whole brick in one colour or just add a little bit of colour to some of them just to break up all of these little bricks. And then I'm going to go back in with warm grey light and I'm just going to sort of go over some of the ones that we put some colour in just to sort of dull the colour down so it doesn't look too bright. So I'm just going over everything here. And then going back in with Davy's Grey, which is the darker one, I'm just going to darken up this edge here where the wall joins together. So I'm just going to go ahead and sort of fill this in on this side so it looks like it's a little bit darker. And I'll do the same for this side. Next I'm going to take Oxide of Chrome 063 and for this I'm going to use to fill in these little leaves that we've got just dotted around here. So I'll just zoom you in a little bit. So I want these to be quite dark because with it being night time, you wouldn't necessarily have light leaves. So I'm going to go ahead and fill these in. Then once you've got them filled in, you can sort of go over again, I'm using sky blue, and just sort of get any bits that you missed that were quite close to the leaves and just make sure that there's no sort of whiteness or page showing through. So next I'm gonna go in with my Posca pen and the first thing that I'm gonna do is go around the moon. So I'm just gonna go over the black lines And then I'm going to add some little stars as well. So I'm just going to do little dots for this. So just randomly place some little dots into the sky. Try and avoid the leaves. Okay, and we're going to leave that there for today. So that is today's video, part one. And then next Wednesday will be part two. So stay tuned for that. So until the next video, see you guys.